Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tom here. Just with a little mini uh, update on my layout. And uh, today I got my uh, when I was on uh, one of the uh, YouTube uh, channels the other day with I think Tom and Trains. And I asked them somebody if they knew if they could get a Pennsylvania car, and I found one. And uh, that's it right there. It's a flat car. And then I put a load on it, and it weighs down and everything, and it works, you know, on the layout. So I got rid of that one car that wasn't a Pennsylvania car, that uh, Kellogg's car there. So um, now that's uh, taken care of. And then I got uh, some stuff from Miller Engineering today. Um, was a uh, new sign and it's an SO sign and it rotates and as you can see it's rotating around and there it goes so I had to drill a three and a quarter inch hole underneath the layout to put the thing on and then the base and I put the plate on top of the layout and then uh, screwed it onto there and ran the wires over to the connecting uh, connector and uh, it light it, you know, light it up and it's rotating. So that's that. And uh, I was playing around with the trains the other day and uh, though that uh, MTA and train there and my CSX train there, they both run um, on the same track with no problem now. And um, I was using Dispatcher from JMRI and set them up. And as you can see, that engine there is sitting right behind that guy. And when I start him up, he doesn't move until that train is out of that block which is really cool and as the trains are running around if a train's in a block and the train will stop if another train's in a block it's all based on the signaling and it's uh, all pretty cool like we got a down there you can see is a yellow signal and up there we have a green signal so he's ready to go and this guy here is looking at that signal which is red so he can't go until the MTA train clears that block and goes into the tunnel and stuff like that so it uh, really, uh, the JMRI stuff really works great with the, di with the dispatcher. And um, I made some changes to some of the transits in there to uh, play sound and uh, blow the bell automatically when it enters a block. And uh, I've been testing that out and that seems to be working. Uh, these two trains here, I got them set up on dispatcher. But I've been playing around getting this one here to run with the two engines and the consistent uh, working. And uh, I'm going to get them going on dispatcher so I can just, I don't have to worry about using the power cab, pro, you know, the power cab to uh, run the engines. I do it right from the, the computer and they'll all run and uh, go around. And then when I want to go up to Helix and stuff, then I'll do manual. But I have some uh, dispatched, um, you know, transit set up and that sort of thing. So I finished up all the power lines and uh, they're all done. And I got some of the uh, meters on the buildings. 
and they're all you know now they all have power and as you can see down there there's a light sticking out of the ground and then one down over there there's a light sticking out of the ground the houses I took up because I'm going to start getting ready to do some airbrushing I was watching a lot of videos and um, I need to get some more stuff because I don't have anything to clean with so I just ordered from eBay some uh, cleaning uh, stuff for the airbrush and uh, then I'll be able to start painting that'll come you know next week probably um, and we'll, then I can start doing my airbrushing but I was just getting the buildings prepped so I can prime them and uh, then paint them the color I want I don't care for the colors that they came in the model with so I'm going to paint them uh, I don't like uh, white roofs and yellow buildings that color scheme doesn't work so I'm going to paint the roofs black and uh, paint the buildings a different color so get that all straightened out but uh, yeah, I thought that uh, SO sign was pretty cool when I saw it on her site. I says, yeah, I had an old S SO sign there, but the LED burned out. Just like that A and P sign over there, um, that one um, doesn't work either. I can't get the LED to light up. And, uh, you know, I put them on my bench and... Uh, they're very dim, so the light they had in them, I don't remember what kind it was. So, I got to get one more Miller Engineering sign. That one building there has a blank uh, in the window, so I'm going to get a, a neon sign for that, like I got for the Napa there. But, uh, it's all working out. And, uh, I got to fix these uh, panels. That's something I'm going to work on this week changing the LEDs to match what I have on these guys so I got the boards for them I just have to make them up and stuff like that so little details and then running the trains and uh, I got a couple of things coming in that I'm waiting for and uh, with the holidays uh, shipping is pretty slow right now but that's it I uh, just wanted to show you uh, my new uh, rotating SO sign and a couple of odds and ends on the layout. And of course there's my uh, peppermint patty girl. And um, see how everything goes. So I hope everybody had a nice Christmas. And uh, looking forward to the New Year's. So everybody take care and we'll see you in the next video. This is Tom and peace out.